nerds are here Nerds forever No matter sick or ill And no matter the weather She's got an FGB family Never run team, gotta be PG Well, mostly Work so hard, and all the while She's got a kick in her step and she's got a twinkle in her smile Good morning. Yes, I am in the best mood ever because I had so much sleep last night. Oh wait, is this sarcasm? Is, that thi is this a thing that's happening right now? Oh wait, I think it is. Hmm. Oh boy. Today is a fail day. Fail number one. Couldn't sleep last night. I don't know why. Usually I can sleep anywhere and last night I just could not sleep whatsoever. Fail number two. I worked on my day off. Today was supposed to be my day off. I worked. Okay, Cassandra, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, okay, I understand work is work. I'm glad I got money. Woohoo, positive side. Fail number three, Mother's Day. I'm supposed to spend time with my family. Family had to leave because I stayed too long at work. Because work is super uber busy. Fail number four, gets home sad because she doesn't get to see her family. And she also doesn't have her keys or a jacket. Fail number five, her cousin doesn't get home till 9 o'clock tonight. Fail number six or seven. I don't know. She's feeling sorry for herself and doesn't know what to vlog about. <sighs> Today has to be the official worst day ever. Uh, even if someone was to let me in, I still can't get into my place because the door's locked. So, I just don't even know what to do. I'm in my work clothes. I don't want to go anywhere. Positive thoughts. Um, something funny that happened to me today was when I was serving someone, they saw my name tag and called me by Cassie, and I just kind of went around like, yes, what can I do for you? Other than that, that was the only funny thing that's happened today. I'm sorry, no inspirational talks or at all positive thoughts from my side, but uh, everyone has their bad days, and I'm not trying to feel all sorry for myself. Well, actually, yes, I am. I'm trying to feel sorry for myself because I have reasons to feel sorry for myself right now. Um, but everyone has bad days and once in a while if you take them I think that's okay. But if you do it all the time and I'm feeling bad for myself all the time, that wouldn't be okay. I'm still sort of mature, right? <laughs> Everyone's allowed to feel sorry for themselves sometimes, right? Okay, so I did something. I got up, stopped feeling sorry for myself, made myself look half presentable by taking off my name tag. And you never know, people might think Cora is a brand or something, right? Uh, just sporting the Cora shirt. And I wanted to show you my dad's little hotel room because, oh yeah, they don't know you're even staying here. Hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, you didn't leave yet? I haven't left yet. Oh, okay. Why are you here? Because I got a conference tomorrow. Oh, geez, it sucks being work. a boss, doesn't it? I don't know if I'm a boss, but they send me <laughs> these things anyways. <laughs> okay, well, sucks being cool and going places. <laughs> well, he's staying in a really cool hotel, <laughs> minus the balcony. <laughs> this is what I thought was really funny. The balcony, <laughs> this, my feet are tiny, right? Well, I think about <laughs> two of them is the size of his balcony, <laughs> and it's just a really nice little, little tiny view. Well, I guess not so tiny. Can't really talk right now. Having troubles. And let's just walk on over to the bathroom, and it's like, whoa, why is it so big? I was like, Dad, before we go and eat, is it okay if I go to the bathroom? Yeah, sure. So the lights are off, and I just, you know open it and I then when I turned it on I was like whoa surprised with how big this bathroom is uh, uh, I don't think you need to worry about not having a balcony dad because if no one fits on the balcony they can just go hang out in the bathroom <laughs> it's just me. I know, but and still. You. I know, but still. I'm not hanging out in the bathroom with you. <laughs> you gross. That's disgusting. You. Um. What, so, what did you do over there? <laughs> I'm trying to find us a place to go eat. So I've got my iPad. I've got my phone with the restaurants on there, and I got my BlackBerry that was downloading a game. <laughs> Just thought you should point out all your cool yes. electronics. Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no big deal. You know, I've got like those. Wait, I only have a laptop. Look what I found in chapters. Does that say fairy tale? Um, yes, it does. Uh, what do I do? Um, my hand's reaching towards it. 
It's petting it. Oh no. <laughs> it wants to buy all of them. What do I do? What do I do? I just got paid. I can't, I can't spend my money on this. I have to pay rent. But it's Fairydale. <sighs> Happy. I, I. He does have a big bed and I'm going to steal it all to myself because I'm so cold. <sighs> hope, I hope you don't mind. He's <laughs> there. I don't know. Are you going back home? I probably should go back <laughs> home. I just don't want to oh, go in the make. cold. Oh, it'd be so cold. And <laughs> I don't have a jacket because I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm laughing at the fact that you're a woman right now. <laughs> I always do my own ironing. Thank you very much. Oh, this pretty much just made my day. Everything is so much better now that I see a man holding an ironing thing. An ironing thing. I don't know the name for it. What's the name of it? An ironing board? An ironing board and an, an iron? Yes, an iron. Oh. Silly Cassandra and her lack of vocabulary. This is being documented because this is, this is a man doing woman chores. Uh, real men know how to iron their clothes. Real men. Real men know how to look good all the time. Oh! Do you hear that? So whoever in my vlog says, Woman, get back in the kitchen. That's because they don't know how to cook and they're not a real man. What? There's a difference between ironing and being in the kitchen. Now be quiet. If I had a kitchen, that's where you'd be. <laughs> I'm going to cry myself to sleep. Jasmine is now home, so I can make the trek home, and it's gonna be a cold one. My dad actually showed me, uh, well, I like how there's mirrors in elevators so much. It makes things so much easier to vlog, so my whole head's in it. Hi, my name's Cassandra. What's yours? Oh, wait, I have to make sure. Whoa, there's a whole lot of Cassandra in here. I definitely forgot to press a button and it just stopped and it wasn't going anywhere and I got really freaked out and I was like, uh, what's going on? And then I realized I forgot to press L for loser. <laughs> just had the scariest thing in the world happen to me. I was just about to start vlogging, telling you about this guy that my dad's told me about and this man comes up right to my shoulder and like, like right to my shoulder and it's my dad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my life ended before my eyes because I thought I was going to have to punch a dude in the face, but I didn't because it was my dad. Oh my gosh, my heart is still going like crazy. Oh, now I don't even remember who, what I was going to talk about. I was going to tell him about that guy you showed me. Uh, the, the, the Book of Awesome guy, or is that what it's called? Yes. The Book of Awesome. This man who wrote well started a everyone's probably heard of him he won a bloggy award um for best blog on the internet uh and it, what he wrote about was all the little things in life that we should be happy about and like your dad coming behind you and scaring you <laughs> yeah totally happy about that oh yes <laughs> every time you remind me of that i think my heart's gonna skip a beat a little bit is this a sky train oh okay Sorry, I had to give a hug bye to my dad just in case I don't see him tomorrow. But this guy, uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth with him, but he's a very inspiring person. And a lot of the things that he believes are stuff that I believe too, like ways of life and stuff like that. So apparently he's doing some sort of book signing tomorrow at uh, Chapters, the one that we went to today. So I watched a, like, a talk thing where he's in front of people. Good thing I can remember the word of this right now. Uh, public speaking, that's it. He did that, and he's just a genuinely nice person. And he was, I don't know what to say. I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. I want to blame sleep. Also, I want to blame sleep earlier for how mad I was. But the cool thing is, is if I never got mad today, I probably wouldn't have hung out with my dad as long as I did. And then I wouldn't have found out about this guy, and then I wouldn't be going to the book signing tomorrow, which I'm really excited about because this uh, guy is awesome and just awesome and stuff. And I'm going to stop doing this because of the usual looks I'm getting right now, but... <sighs> 
you don't know who he is, look it up. It's really cool. I am now home and not in work clothes and my mood is happy! Hey! Happy! Today was definitely a learning experience in a way. It was learning that I need to be happy about the little things, like that book that I was telling you about. Um, Jasmine actually was packing for LA because she's leaving today, that's why I'm in her room, and she has the Book of Awesome because she got that for her birthday last night. And weird how these things all of a sudden pop up all at once and shove itself in your face and oh it's weird it's like I learn something every day and I think it's so cool that I'm able to document this and oh it just blows my mind I can't even express myself that well right now because I should be going to bed soon but I'm gonna edit you then go to bed and have a great night and I'm going to be hopefully productive tomorrow or maybe not so productive because tomorrow's my day off and I am done with working nine days in a row okay happy Cassandra is happy Aye.